Hi art students, I wanted to talk a little bit about why you would use layers in a digital painting like this. So you're going to see in a minute that I have four layers in this painting. If you think about layers as each one is painting on a sheet of glass so that that layer is separate than all the others, that's pretty much what's going on here. So you can see I'm hovering over layer four and layer four just has that patch of grass. So if I painted more on layer four, I could cover up some of the things in layer two and layer one, but I wouldn't ruin them. Um, you'll see in just a second, I'll be able to erase a little bit of layer four that I'm on right now, and it's not gonna affect the layers underneath. So um, if I go here to layer four, and I go to my eraser, you can see I can just swipe out a big piece of that and it doesn't affect the sand, which is in a different layer altogether. So if I wanted to fix some of the bushes, I wouldn't have to start over with the sand. I'm only working on that green layer. So this is gonna make it a lot easier when you um, are trying to paint up to the edges of something or you're trying not to ruin the part you like and um, and you can see that you can hover over each one of these to get a preview of what is in each layer. So you could work on just one layer at a time. So my layer one is just the sky. So it's the sky and clouds. And you can see that the blue of the sky goes all the way down. Um, I hadn't quite figured out where the sky would need to stop. So I just let it go all the way down to the bottom because all the other layers are going to be on top of that. So if I wanted to um, adjust something in the sky, like let's say I want to add maybe a little bit deeper blue to the horizon right there, I'm going to go and choose my colors and choose my brushes. And I've already selected layer one, so I'm not going to be painting on layer two, three, four, or five. And I'm painting, and you can see it looks like it affects the water a little bit, but it's actually because I probably had the transparency level on my watercolor very transparent, so very see-through. Um, so that's why you're seeing a little bit of a change in the water. But um, when I'm painting down, down there on the sand, you can't see anything because those layers are more opaque, so less see-through. So if I actually looked at just layer one, I did paint down there, but um, I'm erasing it anyway. And for each layer, you can adjust the transparency. Um, my layer one is very, is, is the base layer, so making it transparent just makes it kind of too see-through, but you can see what happens when I change the water. It made the water more transparent. But I can also adjust each layer individually for brightness and contrast. So you can see I have the water layer selected and I'm playing with the brightness and contrast. And you can try things out because you have that undo button, so it's totally fine to try something, see how it looks if you rather than having to repaint everything if you just need it a little brighter. Um, that's one way of doing it. And make sure you are saving frequently because if you are not saving this and something happens, your browser crashes, you're just going to lose everything. So each time you save it, it's just saving an entire copy of all of the layers together um, and you'd be able to reopen it. Okay, so the rest of this video is just me making the entire piece. So you'll see step by step by step. Um, this part of the video is about nine minutes long. In reality, it took me an hour. So this is way speeded up. It's 600%. Um, but I do want you to notice how often I check my photo. So I will pick a color, check my photo. I'll draw a little bit of the clouds, and then I'll check my photo and then I'll change colors and I check my photo. So I keep checking because if you don't keep referencing your photo or other reference material, you are not gonna be able to do this very well. Um, I'm gonna stop talking and let you watch. Um, you can pause and see what I'm doing with the brushes. I'm changing opacity, which just means how see-through the paint is. 
um, and I'm changing how much it blends a lot. So if you want really blendable paint, turn the blending way up. If it looks like nothing's happening, turn it down a little bit. If you want to just make a little bit of a shadow, have your opacity very low, you could put black over something, but if your opacity is only at, you know, 5%, it's not going to be a big black line. So play around with all the tools and it's going to make it much easier to get the effects you want. All right, I can't wait to see your paintings.